Previously on Yolanda Land. Yeah, 2019, I was racing for track factory racing. I had some good results. I won silver at World Championships and silver at the World Cup overall. Whenever I ride my bike, I, I want to have fun. I feel like I'm in a computer game. <laughs> So far, it, I'm, I'm feeling good in my body. I've had a lot of really good care and nothing hurts. I'm totally pain-free. The recovery has been amazing. It, I was really, really lucky. I had amazing people around me who helped me with the right things. I never got sick, which I think was such an important part because the spleen is so responsible or important for the immune system. <laughs> I'm uh, Patrick Noack, I'm a team doctor of uh, Swiss cycling and that's how I know Yolanda. Uh, we called each other after the accident and, um, and she had a spleen rupture grade 5 and uh, fortunately the shell around held. So uh, the spleen is still working and she was really lucky. After the first two or three weeks you feel great again, but you, on the other side you know your body needs, still needs some time to recover fully. But as soon as this pain is going down, of course the athlete wants to perform again. I tried to do some walks around the house and like super turtle pace, like <laughs> one step took me like five seconds. Uh, one thing, you don't have to get a direct hit on the spleen after the accident. Uh, the second thing is that you shouldn't go too high with the blood pressure. Yes, yeah, so the first ride I did back on my bike was just on the road. Cycled up a, a cycling path along the river. And uh, yeah, just to even get some fresh air was, was amazing. And you know the shell around was still intact, but you don't want to push it too hard to the limit so that you don't have a second bleeding again. I would say my heart and my lungs and my whole system is still or is on a good level because I've been training for, I know, 10, 20 years, <laughs> 15, I don't know. I think actually for a lot of athletes, it's their coaches tell them to go to the gym so that they don't overtrain on the bike. Because <laughs> as an athlete, you always want to train. And either you're cool enough to just chill, but <laughs> I guess when you're not, you go to the gym. <laughs> That's my theory. For downhill, yeah, you need to go to the gym, I think, because you do these massive jumps and you need to land and you need to, you know, be able to take that impact. But for cross country, I feel I can do everything I need on the bike. Like, sure, it's good to do some core stuff. I, I all, all my life, I always did core and I have like leg stuff and that stuff I feel like I've, I've won all my races without any of that. <laughs> if you want to do it, do it, but I really don't think that it's that you need it to be good at mountain biking. And uh, why am I doing this now? Um, I don't even know. <laughs> um, like it's progressing now and with the images we have done we can really uh, count on a full recovery of the spleen and of the body. We only found out like two weeks ago when we did that shooting, like they, they gave me a buff and it was sliding down the whole time and that's just how it is always. And he was like, ah, oh, they don't even stay. And then he said he has some youth, like kid size and baby size. 
and he gave me some to try, so that's the baby size, and it works. <laughs> the first time I was back on the bike, I was really thinking, how can people survive without riding bikes? <laughs> how is that possible? Like, it feels so good. Like, yeah, I, I don't know, how can anybody not ride bikes? I'm super excited to get back on my mountain bike and, and to ride trails again and to jump around on my bike again. That's, that's really what I'm, yeah, I'm longing for, yeah, in the forest, in the nature, being out there. It's already an amazing feeling to just ride my bike and it just, most of all, I'm just looking forward to get back into my, my full training routine and my, I think everything else will take care of itself. All the races, all the results, it, it, will, it will come when, when everything is in place. Hopefully end of March I can return to the trails, which will be amazing and which I'm looking forward to a lot. I, I feel fine with handling and speed and all that. I just feel like how quick I get exhausted. Yeah. Because I like with the straight. legs and arms and, and also the back and just don't have these muscles anymore. All right, I'm gonna start breathing hard again. <laughs> Time to turn it off. The first World Cup in 2020 is end of May in Nova Mesta and of course it's an important race still for the Olympic qualification. Today the International Olympic Committee making it your games will be postponed for at least two years. My dad said from the very first day in January when he read about it he said oh the Olympics are going to be postponed. This is going to go all over the world. This is this is something. <laughs> we we kept going until I guess beginning of March, and then suddenly it was like bad. People were saying in the beginning like, ah, oh, this is an advantage for you because now everything is postponed and you have more time. And I would not call it an advantage for me because it just gives me the chance to be at the same level, back at the same level with everyone else. Like, I would have loved to have the Olympics this summer because I loved the track in Tokyo and I loved it so much, I, I won that race. But I guess we arrived at a point where it would have been completely irresponsible to, to have the game this year and this summer. To, to postpone the Olympics was really the only responsible solution to the whole situation. And so it has been my plan all along to fly to North Carolina. In April I wanted to come back here. We changed my flight to fly one week early and then the next day it was announced that all the US borders were closed, nobody else could come in anymore and luckily I already had my flight. <laughs> it's pretty steep, huh? <laughs> What we do really when we are home is training and go to the grocery store and get food and cook and so that daily rhythm I would say hasn't changed that much. Why don't you try it again in second? In second? Yeah, then you'll have more speed at the bottom. I'm not going out to bars every night, so... <laughs> Downshift like around here. Woo! Shift down! <laughs> <laughs> I should have shipped it. Uh, Riding moto has been a lot of fun. We know some people who own private tracks and they've been letting us ride on there, so that has been absolutely great. Ready to go. It has been so much fun for me to learn something new and, and it's just it's just fun to ride. Mm. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs>
all we can do is focus on the task that is in front of us and, and not overthink it because it, it, it simply doesn't help. never say yeah at the beginning of the question because he's like cutting the questions out so he's not gonna so I should stop that I should never say am and never yeah I should just like start with the answer yeah okay cool <laughs>